Ladies and gentlemen, earlier this year, my next guest co-starred opposite Brad Pitt in Troy. Starting tomorrow, she can be seen in Wicker Park. Please welcome Rose Byrne. That's a great dress. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, Rose. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> This okay. interview is not going to go well, I can no, see. I didn't no, that's uh, well. First, thanks for coming. Nice Thank to have you, you here. Thank you for having me. Do you know I saw you on the um, on the plane on the way over? I came from Los Angeles. I have not been to Los Angeles <laughs> recently. That's not possible. I know. I saw you were on an in-flight. Oh, NBC they show. Yeah, on, was it United? I guess United yeah. Airlines shows some stuff from our show sometimes. Yeah, and you were like flogging a really dodgy looking car. Flogging means, oh, oh selling. Selling, yeah. selling, selling. Okay, yeah, uh, yeah. Mm. I, we, we did a segment on the show where I tried to sell my sweet 1992 Ford Taurus. <laughs> yeah. Show. yeah, someone yes. offered you like $100. Yeah, you don't have to bring up that part again. <laughs> we could have just let that go. Some say the car isn't worth uh, what it used to be worth. But no, yeah, I was trying to trying to sell that car. Well, why? What do you do? Do you still have that car? Yeah, I still have that car. Right. Yeah, I, I drive it around, and people are like, "Why are you driving that car?" I'm like, "This is a fine machine. <laughs> this is a sweet ride. It's my." It's my chariot. It had a charm about it. It was no, it's a piece of crap. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> but it gets me around. Uh, now, uh, what, what do you uh, what do you drive? I drive a. Uh, well, I'm on a bit of a budget. Um, I drive a Rent-A-Rec car. Rent Rent-A-Rec's Rent actually mm. a company out in L.A. Yes, it is, yeah. And How bad is the car that you rent? It's pretty, it's pretty average, yeah. It, the the aircon doesn't really work, and that's really hard in, in summer. There's in no air conditioning? When no. you live in L.A., you have to have air conditioning. I know. It's dreadful. I think it's losing me jobs, because when I get out of the car, I'm drenched in sweat. My makeup's off. My hair's a mess. I've been cursing like a mad woman because I'm so hot. And so people bothered. just think you're having a nervous breakdown. Yeah, exactly. I've heard that rumor about you and now I know why it's true. Why don't you get a car with, with air conditioner? That's my next step. I think. I thought after this, when I go back. Just I'm pack to... ice in the back seat or something. Yeah. Anything to just keep you just nice and cool. Just to keep it cool because it's, it's really, it's very unpleasant. So. All right. Now, where do you live in L.A.? And I want, I want specifics. I want an address. <laughs> Just kidding. You don't have to give me an address, but whereabouts in LA? Because I used to live in LA back in the day. I live. Um, I, can't, I live in the West Hollywood area. Okay. Um, which is very. That person was wooing for no good reason. Uh, <laughs> they just bet their friend. I'm gonna woo at some point, dude. <laughs> just watch me, and it won't make sense. Uh, so West, West. You said West Hollywood. Yeah, That's nice. I live in the West Hollywood area. I live with um two two boys in a share house. And, oh, um, this is a sitcom from the 70s. It yeah. is. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice for you, yeah. And the landlord yeah. comes by That's and right. misunderstands yeah. things he hears. <laughs> it won't fit. Oh! <laughs> Push harder. What? <laughs> yeah. That's right. Uh, no. I've actually I've been recently, I've been asked to leave though. You've been asked to leave? Why? Yeah. Um there's been some incidents in the house which I've been responsible for that like what? What's the what's the bad thing well, you did? Well, I left I left the front door open one day. You know, my flatmate <laughs> came home and put his key in, and the door just okay. Moved right but open. anyone can do that once. What's something yeah. really bad? you Well, did? then I, I I accidentally slept in his bed when he was in New York. He has this big king size bed, and you know I came home and I was a bit out of it, I think, and just, just bit out of it, I think. What does that mean? <laughs> Were you out of it? Or what kind of state were you in? I was, well, just a bit, I think I was, I'd had a hard day. Uh-huh. And I was um, trying right. to unwind. And anyway, so that was not, not, not a kosher thing to do. Sounds like alcohol was involved at some point. Maybe, maybe. 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 We don't know. There are all these empty bottles we're later. Not sure, not sure. But maybe they fell over and emptied themselves. Um. <laughs> So you're having a nervous breakdown. Yeah, I have it. No, Out then, of control binge drinking. And then you can't remember anything that's happened to you. I'm painting a really bad picture here. Yeah. I'm actually very happy and very stable. Yes, but yes. Anyway, um I like when a guest has to shout yeah. back. <laughs> I am stable! It's like Nixon, I'm not trying. <laughs> No, no, yeah. I'm, I'm twisting everything. That's you what are. I do. Yes, I'm a terrible. I'm a nasty, bad man. Nasty. It's a bad, yes, bad guy. Yes. I am. No, but the final thing, I um, I had a, my, I turned 25 a few mm -hmm. weeks ago, and I had a birthday party, and there was lots of people. It was a great party, and it went quite late, and there was a lot of Australians there. I'm from Australia, and 
they're drinking a lot. And anyway, they're, they're, and Australians like they like to crank that ACDC they and just crank go it for up. it, right? Yeah, yeah. Dirty <laughs> deeds done dirt cheap. Dirty deeds done done dirt cheap. Like that. Don't you? Yeah, I do. Is that what you call it? Akadaka? Akadaka. Yeah. 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 Um, but anyway. I have stereotypes for every part yeah, of the world. Good. And that's all I think about when I think about Australia is a bunch of people going, dirty dee, 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 dee. <laughs> Which is completely unfair and ignorant Very of me. Un yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but and anyway, the, in the morning we were cleaning up the party and, you know, there was trash everywhere and um, my housemate sat on the couch and we were just we were sitting there and then he just looked down and there was this damp patch and it was vomit. Oh my god. I love it. Oh. And he just said to me, you know, I, I don't want this anymore. <laughs> so he you were said, kicked out. Yeah, and he said, I'm 35. I'm, I, you know, I'm not in college. Right, and, uh, right. Uh, it's not working out. Right, so. right. You've just done it. To, oh yeah, go ahead, sorry. I was going to say, if you're 35, why you got two roommates? <laughs> Good question. Well, there you go. Something's wrong with that yeah, guy. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me stay out of this. Go ahead. Yeah. It's a good question. No, yeah. So now, anyway, so I've been asked to leave. So I need to find a new house. With I think you're gonna do just fine. And... You're very charming. You're delightful. I think you're gonna get. You've just told everybody what a horrible roommate you are. But, <laughs> that was not good. Believe me, this was just a series of events that was out of my control. Yes, I mean, out of your control. I'll ask my wife. Maybe you can come live with us. Really? <laughs> This has all been worked out. <laughs> Clear it with the wife. It's all oh, fine. Oh, I came on the show. Yeah, this see? Baby, I got a surprise for you. <laughs> <laughs> now, we, uh, Wicker Park is the movie that you're yes. uh, promoting. Yeah. And uh, I don't, this is, a, this is a movie that you can't really uh, sum it's up. It's very tricky, yeah, because the plot's really um, the star of the film. So if I talk about the plot too much, it's going to give it all it's away. It's going to give so. something away. We yeah. have a clip here. What can you tell us that eases us into this clip a little bit? This clip is um, Josh Hartnett plays a guy who's sort of um, trying to track down his long lost love. And he, he's stumbled across her apartment, you know, he thinks. And he walks in and um, he breaks into the apartment. And anyway, um, he finds me instead of the girl he, he wanted. So. All right, let's take a look <laughs> at this clip from Wicker Park. I'm sorry, it's okay. I'm calling the police. Where's the car? No, don't call the police. Don't call the police. I'm right here. Okay, 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 okay. Calm down. Calm down. It's okay. I'm a friend of Lisa's. A friend of Lisa's? Yeah. Is that supposed to be funny? No. You can ask her when she comes, okay? I'm Lisa. I live here. This thing is not right. <laughs> Can't give it away, though. Uh, Wicker Park opens uh, tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, so people can go check that out. Thanks yeah. so much for coming by. Thanks for having me. Come back soon, and good luck on that uh, apartment situation. Rose Byrne, everybody. We'll be right back with Sam Roberts.